Hi, this is Sandy Sims with SDS Digital, and this video covers some recently added MIDI remote controls for internal functions within the Accord Melissima module. If you haven't seen the video on MIDI remotes, you may want to watch that one first. In any case, I'll briefly go over the setup. In order to use MIDI remote control of the Melissima, you'll need to connect a MIDI breakout to the link header in back at the top of the module. This is a true isolated header, so no worries about hooking it up backwards if you're uncertain which way it should go. Once all of that is done, you must decide on which MIDI channel to use for remote control. This is done behind the settings quick box at the bottom. I have mine set to MIDI channel 2. The remote CC settings are behind the MIDI CC quick box. By the way, don't confuse the remote channel with the CC Send channel, shown here. Now you can assign the functions a MIDI CC number. For the five new remote controls, I've chosen 18 to 22. The new remotes are Root Progression Window, Chord Progression Window, Inversion, which acts the same as the knob when not patched. Expansion and Gate, which is a switch that can be used with a pad, push button, or a foot switch. I'll demonstrate how each works using my old UC33 MIDI controller, which has been assigned to CC18-22. The first new remote control adjusts the root progression window. This works exactly like the CCCV input when assigned to control the start-end window. So if there's four roots in the range, then adjusting this remote CC can select another four, or overlap part of the original four with a couple of new roots. If the screensaver isn't running, the adjustments are shown at the top of the screen, just like a knob adjustment does. The chord progression window works the same way, which is on the second slider. Of course, you'll more than likely be using this with pads that can have assigned values, but for playing around, sliders are great. Next is the remote MIDI CC for inversion, which is on the third slider. This acts as the inversion knob would when not patched. It could be quite useful from many perspectives as it adds some variation without losing progression. The fourth control is for the expander, which is useful as on the panel there is no knob for this. One must be careful as due to the nature of expanding, it can run up quite quickly with shorter chords. The full range is covered regardless, although I know I'll never use it. The screensaver shows the expansion even though it's quite evident audibly.
these four controls, even though the progressions in this program are kind of crappy, you can see how valuable this control can be, especially during a performance. The last remote CC added is to trigger gates. I have it configured to a button for this demo, but like I said, it could be a pad or a foot switch. If there are physical progression triggers patched in, then this will simply set new note lengths plus trigger a new chord as the gate input would. If used with a gate, this will override the gate effectively pausing it. Notes lengths will be changed until the next gate overrides that. Used alone, you can manually gate to your heart's content, which can be fun if the spread control is set properly, preferably synced to a known clock in my paradigm. So there's the five new Link MIDI remote controls. These will be available in version 1.4 in the near future along with other improvements and additions. By that time, there may be even more. You never know, right? I hope you have enjoyed this video. I'm Sandy Sims. Keep on patching!